Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. We're going to talk today again with the chapter 17, Oligopoly. This is a book of Gregory Monkey. We're going to work uh, throughout the quick check multiple choice. The book is Principles of Economics, 7th edition. So the first question says, the key feature of an oligopolistic market is that so those are the options let's try to uh, like try to rule out which couldn't be the correct answer so this is not the first i mean this is not the correct one why because each firm produces a different product from other firms remember when we are talking about different product we are talking about monopolistically uh, market where we have those kind of characteristics where the product is different but here in a legal poly the product is like almost the same okay so it's homogeneous so definitely a cannot be the correct one then each firm takes the market prices given. What is the idea when you take a, the market prices given? It's because you don't have any power. So you need to go to the market and have a look what is the market, what is the condition, and you need to offer this good or service to this price. What is the case of this kind of market structure? So this is the case of competitive, perfectly uh, perfect market so we have when we have like a perfect competitive market we have that that condition when they don't have any power and they are definitely pri um, price takers and then a single firm chooses a, a point on the market demand curve so remember when we are talking about single firm uh, that they have the complete power of the market we are T talking about monopoly okay so definitely we are talking more about a small number of firms uh, are acting strat strategically so because there is a um, there is this possibility that they will work depending on what the others choose so for this reason it's like there is a strategy behind that the market behind the, the quantity of the goods that they're going to be offered okay so then if an oligopolistic industry organizes itself as a comparative cartel it will produce a quantity of output that is the competitive level and the monopoly level so we are talking about a cartel so remember a cartel is when uh, a small number of uh, of firms that they control the majority of the most of part of the market and they make a commitment in order to say okay we're going to produce this quantity established so this is a cartel so we need to compare this situation with the competitive level and with the monopoly level with those options so we have those options that we need to figure out which could be a no so first this one more than and less than so okay what is more than the competitive level so remember competitive level is kind of this point where you maximize the total welfare why because the price is the lowest and the quantity are the 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 kind of the most inside the market so this is like the perfect part where there is no dead weight loss which means there is no like part that is not going to be taken by anyone as a part of the inefficiency of this the other structures of the market so remember anytime you talk about a competitive level you're talking about the maximus i mean the maximum level of the consumer and producer surplus so then if when they organize a cartel it should be like really um, something that it should be really bad for a consumer so for this reason definitely they will produce not more than competitive level and less than the monopoly level okay imagine that when you organize a cartel is big because 
everyone moves as one. So because they move as one, they are going to replicate the behavior of the monopoly level. So definitely B cannot be the option. Equal to and more than. So equal to competitive level, never. It's impossible because actually they are going to organize to reduce the maximum quantity of, 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 the, of the goods and then will, they will like to improve the um, basically the, the profit so it cannot be D and more than monopoly level um, again they're going to organize as one and then less than competitive level it should be yeah but more than monopoly level no because actually when you behave as a cartel is because you are going to replicate the movement of monopoly so then I guess that the most accurate answer to these questions should be less than the competitive level and equal to the monopoly level then if an oligopoly does not cooperate and each firm chooses its own quantity the industry will produce a quantity of output that is the competitive level and the monopoly level. So then before we talk about the cartel and now we are talking about the data corporate. Okay, so they, they're going to say, okay, I don't care what you're going to do. I'm going to act on my own. But obviously I need to take into account what is going to be your movement. So anytime you move or anything that I, I think that you will move, I will react. So then, the industry, definitely, uh, because this is a competitive, uh, it should be like more quantities inside the market, but remember, never as the competitive level. But the monopoly level, there should be a difference, because be 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 before, we had a, a, commitment, a commitment between the players, but in this case, they don't have any commitment. The only commitment is like, I'm not going to cooperate, okay? I'm just like going to follow on my own. So then, less than competitive level, I agree, because you will produce less than the competitive level, but equal to monopoly level now because you are not more you're not a cartel anymore then equal to competitive level again you cannot replicate a competitive level which is the perfect state when there is a maximum quantities produced and there is maximize maximization of the consumer uh, and producer surplus as a whole then more uh, than the competitive level um the yes, i agree but uh, but but at that time I'm sorry the quantities so more than the competitive level never because you you will not produce more than the competitive level which is the maximum then it should be more than this one then it should be the quantities the should be less than the competitive level which is the best place and then more than competitive level because there is no a crimin or a cartel as before then. As the number of firms in an oligopoly grows large, the industry approaches a level of output that is the competitive level and the monopoly level. Because there is uh, a lot of a lot of uh, firms that they don't cooperate, uh, so this is a legal poly that it grows large. It's more difficult to reach a commitment. Imagine when you are, for example, when your girlfriend. Uh, and you want to reach a commitment, sometimes it's not really easy, right? And most of the time women win. But, uh, for example, imagine when you are in a group. It's almost impossible to decide, right? So for this reason, they feel the quantities should be like really closer or for this reason should be like equal to the competitive level at least uh, it approaches right and then the monopoly level should be obviously compared should be much less uh, quantities so for this reason let's replicate the questions the answers here so then more than uh, the competitive level Mm, then and remember you cannot produce more than the competitive level and then less than competitive level well uh, I can't discuss that because it approaches to the competitive level so then because it approaches obviously it's not the same but it's, it approaches least to be equal to the competitive level and more than uh, monopoly level then the fifth question uh, the prisoners dilemma is um, it's two-person game illustrating that 
So remember, just to to have fresh in mind the situation of the of the prisoners dilemma. So we have like two criminals. So they are captured by the police, and then the idea is like the police they have enough evidence to convict them for carrying an uh, an, unreg an unregistered gun, each would spend one year in jail. So they likely committed. Uh, uh, the robbery something though so likely so we don't know we are not a 100% sure but there is not enough evidence to uh, convict them so they split them uh, so the police split them in different rooms automatically the police says okay you already can be one year in jail or you can confess and actually uh, this person if confess he will be free but the other person should be uh, 20 years in jail. So I remember they are criminals, uh, so they act individually, so they don't care about the, the other person's welfare. And if both confess the crime, you will have both eight years. So then, um, for this reason, they will try to pursue themselves' interests. So then, we have here summarize everything in this uh, matrix of payments. So here we have Bonnie's decision, one of the criminals, and Clyde's decision. So they are interconnect. So they depend on decision to the other one. So they have two options. Okay, I can confess or I can remain silent. If I confess, but the other guy confess as well, so both will get eight years. What about if I remain silent? If I remain silent, but the other one confess, I will have 20 years and the other one will be free. Then, if both of us remain uh, silent, we will get one year. Automatically, you realize that the best output condition should be where the strategy of both players is remain silent. But the key of the Nash game is like because you are your self-interest and because you want to pursue that self-interest and you have uh, incentives enough to move, we will finish here. Why? Take into account that. So first, imagine that we are in Clyde's decision. So, um, so at that time, Remember that we have two options here. So the options is like Bonnie's. Imagine that Bonnie confesses. If Bonnie confesses, I have two options. Eight years or 20 years. What should I do? Obviously, I prefer confess. So I'm going to underline that. So that when we have the box with the two options underlined, we will call that the Nash equilibrium, as we saw in the previous chapter, or in this chapter, sorry. Then imagine that the bunny remains silent. If bunny remains silent, I have again two options. I can confess or remain silent. What should be better? If I remain silent, I will get one year but if I confess I will go free so definitely this should be my decision let's take the the other side of the coin so then uh, Clyde oh, I'm sorry here we have Bonnie's decision imagine that Bonnie is going to decide depends on Clyde's decision so imagine that Clyde confess what should be better for Bonnie confess or remain silent Again, it should be better, eight, 8 years than 20 years. Okay, so it should be this one. Okay, so for this reason is what we call dominant strategy. So the, for Clyde, the, for Clyde the, the dominant strategy should be confessed because it doesn't matter what the order play, every time Clyde will choose confess. Then, imagine that uh, Clyde remain silent so what should be better for Bonnie confess or remain silent if he confesses he will get he will go free but if he conf uh, remains silent he will get one year what should be better go free okay then this is the box when we have kind of the two dominant strategies confess a confess for both players 
and then for this reason they will reach that you would say but they are so kind of silly because they will can get this this like square but why they don't care they don't take that the point is like they have a lot of incentive to move imagine that we are here this is the solution let's say okay I'm here imagine that we are bunny okay I'm here I'm remaining silent and I will get one year but you know the other guy will remain silent why should I uh, remain silent right it should be better confess because I will go free so we have a lot of incentives to move and it's going to be exactly the same for Clyde because Clyde gets here one year and say okay okay conf I can confess and I will get I will go free so for this reason this is not sustainable equilibrium so for this reason this is the Nash equilibrium where both players they don't have any incentives to move okay so after understanding well this game we're going to answer that quick uh, multiple question so here we have the options so let's start to roll out this is the first one why the cooperative outcome could be worse for both people than the Nash equilibrium okay remember the Nash equilibrium it was eight years each but if they cooperate they will get just one year so definitely that's not the answer even if the cooperate of con uh, it's better than the Nash equilibrium for one person it might be worse for the other it's not true actually both of them they will get better benefits if they move to the cooperative answer or rational self self-interested individuals will naturally avoid the Nash equilibrium because it is worse for both of them remember they is not naturally avoid uh, actually uh, it's going to be kind of desired because it should be a position where they don't change at all so for they don't have any incentive to move so for this reason this should be like uh, this is not like a void so definitely I will say that even if cooperation is better because they will get just one year than the Nash equilibrium each person might have an incentive not to cooperate as we show before they will move to the other option because they will get better benefit okay then the last one the anti antitrust laws aim to uh, remember so first encourage mergers to take advantage of economies of scale what is economies of scale when we are talking about the average the average total cost and it goes down when the production uh, is uh, like increased right so in this case remember the trust laws is like the opposite to power market so for this reason this is not going to be uh, encourage mergers discourage firms for moving production facilities overseas they it doesn't talk uh, like particularly about overseas decision or facilitate cooper facilitate cooperation among firms in illegal policy industries remember when you facilitate cooperation it means that there are going to be cartels so the prices go up and the quantities will will go down so definitely the idea of the antitrust laws is like uh, prevent firms from acting in ways that reduce compet competition okay that was all the remember as anytime this is my point of view you have maybe another answer that should be better I'm more than open to listen them okay and um, then see you the next videos we're going to post the others exercises and that's it the channel I guess that is growing step by step I'm so happy bye bye have a great and wonderful day bye bye